Take notes as you watch this video and try the quick quiz at the end. All of the animals on Earth are divided into two main groups, vertebrates and invertebrates. Vertebrates are animals with backbones like dogs, hippos, birds and fish. Invertebrates are animals without backbones like worms, jellyfish, beetles and crabs. Among the invertebrates, the largest and most diverse group are arthropods. Arthropods are an amazing group of animals that make up the largest phylum in the animal kingdom. This group includes ants and bees, spiders, scorpions, along with millipedes and centipedes. Arthropods have a hard outer shell called an exoskeleton, bodies that are divided into segments and legs with joints. These features help them live in many different places. You can find arthropods everywhere, in the soil, in the water, on land, and even in the air. Within the diverse group of arthropods, insects and arachnids look similar and are often confused as being part of the same group. However, there are many differences between them. Let's take a closer look. It's time for insects versus arachnids. First up, insects. Insects are the most numerous and diverse group of arthropods. There are over a million different species named and described, and many more are yet to be discovered. Some common examples include butterflies, bees, ants, beetles, grasshoppers, and dragonflies. Insects can be found in almost every environment on Earth, from the deepest jungles to the highest mountains and even in your own backyard. Insects have several defining characteristics. They have three main body parts, the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. On their head, they have a pair of antennae, which they use to sense their surroundings. Insects also have three pairs of legs, all attached to the thorax. Many insects have wings, which are also attached to the thorax, usually two pairs. These features help insects move around, find food, and escape from predators. Insects play many important roles in nature, like pollinating plants, breaking down dead matter, and serving as food for other animals. Their incredible diversity and adaptability make them a vital part of almost every ecosystem on Earth. Now, let's move on to arachnids. Arachnids include spiders, scorpions, ticks, and mites. They might look a lot like insects, but there are some key differences. Arachnids have two main body parts, the cephalothorax and the abdomen. They don't have antennae, but often have several pairs of eyes. Arachnids have four pairs of legs, all attached to the cephalothorax. Unlike insects, 
arachnids do not have wings. Spiders, a common example of arachnids, use special parts called pedipalps to sense their surroundings and catch prey. Spiders also produce silk from special glands in their abdomen to spin webs for catching food or making shelters. Scorpions are another fascinating type of arachnid. They have large pincers called pedipalps used for grabbing prey and a long segmented tail that ends with a venomous stinger. Scorpions use their stinger to defend themselves and to paralyze or kill their prey before eating it. So there you have it. Two similar yet vastly different arthropods, insects and arachnids. Both groups are essential to our world, each playing unique and crucial roles in their environments. By understanding their differences, we can better appreciate the amazing diversity of life on our planet. Okay, let's see what you've learned. Time for the insects versus arachnids quiz. Don't forget to subscribe!